today we are going to discuss the demography and the basic concepts of demography demos means people graphs means to write to record or drive demography is defined as scientific study of human population with reference to the changes in population size the composition of the population and distribution of population in a space so the demography is putting people on the map demography deals with five demographic processes so these are the five demographic processes to which demography deals that is the fertility means births mortality it indicates the deaths marriage migration which is of two types in migration and out migration and social mobility in a broader sense additional characteristics such as ethnicity which include the race mother tongue social characteristic which include marital status literacy or education women's status in society and economic characteristics which include employment status occupation and income also needed to be considered when describing population characteristics the sources of demographic statistics are census national sample surveys registration of vital events like registration of births and registration of deaths and there are many demographic studies from which demographic data is being taken like census in pakistan every 10 year census are being conducted and up to the current in pakistan six census has been conducted the first census in pakistan was conducted in 1951 the second census that was conducted in 1960 one and third census that was conducted in 1972 and fourth census which was conducted in 1981 fifth census was conducted in 1998 and the sixth census which is conducted in 2000 17 so in pakistan the six censuses has been conducted and from which demographic data is being taken out so we described in the population uh, in the definition of demography the three things one that was the size of the population second that was the composition of the population and third that is the distribution of the population so first what is the size of the population the size of the population refers to total number of individuals living in a specified time in a specified area the demographic prediction of the trends of the population growth or the basis of health services to be provided so size of the population which predicts the trends of the population growth which are the basis that how much health facilities are needed and how much health services 
should be provided according to the size of population or the prediction of the trends of the population growth of any nation and this is estimated by censuses and it also describes the population density of that country and it also estimates the vital indexes and it gives the concepts of mega cities the cities which have population more than 10 million like new york and karachi city so change in population the change in population refers either growth or a decline in population it means the population change can be an increase or it can be a decrease in many developed nations the population is in on decrease like russia hungary their population is in a state of increasing their population is decreasing but the developing nations their population is on increase so the change in population refers either increase or decrease in population when births are minus from that it is known as natural increase immigration minus e migration it is known as late migration natural increase plus late migration it is equal to population growth so when there is a change in population there is a mass population movement within national boundary when there is the population which is on right rise on increase what happens there is a mass population movement within national boundary in a cow is a common phenomenon causing redistribution of the population that is urbanization when there is a population explosion or population on increase what happens the rural population is going to settle down in urban areas known as urbanization or urban drift so this abrupt change urban drift is causing severe stress on social infrastructure that is the housing the schools and provision of health services it means when there is a huge urban rift or urbanization it creates a severe stress on the social infrastructure so more houses are needed more schools for education are needed and more health facilities are needed to provide health services to the population worldwide the number of migrants has increased from 75 million in 1965 to 130 million the world has become increase increasingly urban currently 55% population of the world is urban the second uh, the aspect of definition of demography that is the composition of population and it refers to the structure of population with reference to the age sex and other characteristics so in composition what comes age and sex and the composition reflects birth rate death rates life expectancy reproductive behavior of that nation and even exposure to the diseases 
and what will be the economic dependence. So all these information will be reflected from the composition of that nation. Any policy in a country that deals with any aspect of lives cannot achieve its ultimate objective without giving its consideration to composition of population, that is age structure and sex structure. If we are intended to make a policy or a program in our country, and that is dealing with the population lives in that we cannot achieve the ultimate objectives of our program or policy without giving without giving its due consideration to the composition of population so to start any policy or program, we have to consider the age structure of that nation and the sex structure of that country. And the third aspect of demography, that is the distribution of population. It refers to the arrangement of population in a space at a given time. And it is also, uh, for example, rural and urban population. So it is also known as population density. And it describes the urbanization pattern of any country. And it also addresses the problems of slums the residential areas of the poor, the colonies in which the poor people are living. And it will help in the planning to address the urbanization and the problems of slums. So what we study the de uh, demography or population matters the births, aging, and deaths are experienced by every individual, while marriages, childbirth, and migration are selective human phenomena. There is a broad level on which these events affect us enormously and unnoticeably, which needs to study the human population collectively. So, to address the uh, things which are births, aging and deaths, and even the marriages, childbirth, migrations, all are under the demographic studies. And demography also overlaps with other disciplines like economics of the country, sociology, reproductive physiology of that nation, political science, geography, and statistics. What is the scope of demographic research? It estimates the growth rate and predicts the projected population. It helps in public health planning. How much safe and clean water is needed? How much waste disposal services are needed? And even how much the houses are needed by that nation? and the surveillance activities by various disease control programs and for the development of plans like city service programs, 
fire protection in agriculture plants industrial plants and it also helps in making migration policies refugees issues and it also addresses the emerging issues of the ages even business programs by various agencies are being analyzed by demographic research and the demography helps to calculate to estimate the growth rate and population estimation there are two things in the growth rate one that is the crude birth rate and other that is the crude death rate the crude birth rate is defined as the number of live births in a population of a given geographical area during a given year per 1000 mid year total population crude death rate the number of that's in a population of a given geographical area during a given year per thousand mid-year total population. When the crude birth rate is subtracted from the crude death rate, the net residual is the current annual growth rate exclusive of migration. So the population growth rate is defined as rate at which the given population is increasing during a given period of time expressed in percentage so the population growth rate is expressed in percentage and pakistan's growth rate is 1.6 percent per year it means the population of pakistan is growing at the rate of 1.6 percent per year it gives information about the fertility so the definition of population growth the average annual percent change in the population resulting from a surplus that is increased or a deficit that is the decrease of births over deaths and the balance of migrants entering and leaving the country is known as population growth rate there are four ways in which the population of an area or country can change during two periods that is the number of births number of deaths in migration and out migration when the births are subtracted from the deaths it is natural increase in migration is sub uh, subtracted from e migration it is late migration and when natural increase is plus with late migration it will give rise to the population growth and it will be the population growth of that nation how we are going to calculate the growth rate so if the for example crude birth rate is 22.4 and crude death rate that is 6.4 and it is somewhat similar to the rates of the Pakistan. So, how we will calculate the growth rate of this country? We are doing the births minus deaths. The that will be the natural increase. So, twenty two point four minus six point four. The answer is eighteen. So the natural increase is divided by 1000 because CBR and CDR was estimated for 1000 population. If we are dividing the natural increase that is 18 by 1000, it will give the growth rate 
per person and that is 0 0.018 and this is the per person growth rate but in the definition we have described that the growth rate is expressed as percentage so here we are multiplying the 0 0.018 with the 100 and the answer is 1.8 percent so this is the growth rate of that country in this way the other example food birth rate that is 9.4 and food death rate that is 7.2 and in the same way we are calculating and the answer is 0.22 percent that is the growth rate of that country and it is the growth rate and the population estimation if the annual growth rate is less than 0.5 the population will slowly increase and it is increase with slow growth and if the annual growth rate is from 0.5 to 1 there will be moderate growth and if the growth rate ranges from 1 to 1.5 the population will increase rapidly that is known as rapid growth and from 1.5 to 2 it will lead to very rapid growth but if the annual growth rate is more than 2 there will be explosive growth and it is also known as population explosion it is said that population growth rates like is like railway train are subject to momentum the train starts slowly and gains momentum it takes time to bring the momentum under control in case of train the control factors are mass and inertia but in case of population they are age distribution marriage customs and numerous cultural social and economic factors the world population growth rate was at its peak around 1970 when human population grew at an estimated 1.9 percent the most recent data of the globe of the world show 1.1 percent growth rate of the world in 2020 the growth rate is not uniform in the world european countries growth rate is less than 0.3 per percent per year and around 2.6 percent in africa and 1.3 percent per year in asia these differences in growth rates are largely the result of fertility and mortality patterns approximately 95 percent of this growth is occurring in the developing countries currently one third of the population is under the age of 15 it means the population that is under 15 that constitute about 33 percent of the world and what will happen these uh, the population which is under age of 15 will soon enter in the reproductive barricade giving more potential for population growth so the population which is under 15 will come in a reproductive age that is from 15 16 up to the 49 years and it will provide potential for more growth 
in population. United Nations Fund for Population Activity, that is known as UNFPA, estimates that world population will reach 8 billion in 2025 and at 10 billion by 2050. The expected number of births per woman at current fertility rate, that is also known as total fertility rate in industrialized countries, that is about 1.7. Developing countries 2.9%. Least developed countries it accounts 4.1. But the global total fertility rate is 2.11. The uncontrolled population growth is greatest obstacle to the economic and social advancement in the underdeveloped world. So if the population growth is uncontrolled, what will happen? The socio-economic development will decrease. Even the social advancement will also suffer due to this increase in the population. There are some demographic indicators which have two parts. One, that is the population statistics. It layers the population size, age, sex ratio, density and dependency ratio. The other population indicator, that is the vital statistics that include birth rates, death rate, natural growth rate, life expectancy, mortality, and fertility rates. So these indicators help in identifying areas that need policy and program interventions according to the demographic indicators of that country. And it will lead to setting out short term and long-term goals and decide, uh, deciding priorities according to the needs which are being indicated by the demographic indicators. So the growth rate of Pakistan, it was about 3.66% between 1961 to 1972 and the current estimate 2020 that is about 1.6%. So the other demographic calculation that is the population doubling time and momentum of population. It refers, what is the population doubling time? It refers to the time taken by the country to double its population. The formula is doubling time is equal to 70 years. That is a standard divided by growth rate in percentage per year. So, it is estimated that the population of any country will double in 70 years if its growth rate is 1. And when the growth rate is 2% per year, then its doubling time will be 35 years. So this is the formula of population doubling time. When the annual growth rate is less than 0.5, it will take more than 139 years 
and if the annual growth rate is more than two what will happen there will be explosive growth and it will it will lead to less than 35 years will be required to double its population and what are the factors which can prolong population doubling time it is the social economic development which can prolong population doubling time even literacy rate universal education or literacy rate access to family planning and health services even in the improvement in the status of women in the society will also lead in prolonging the population doubling time and what are the world population trends at the beginning of the christian era nearly 2000 years ago world population was estimated to be around 250 million the subsequent estimate of the world population increase it required the human history up to the year 1800 for the world population to reach 1 billion the second billion reached in 130 years in 1930 and the third billion reached only in 30 years in 1960 fourth billion in 14 years reached in 1974 fifth billion in 1987 6 billion in 12 years in 1999 and 7th billion in 14 years in 2011 so the current population of the world estimate of 2020 that is about 7.5 billion that that is the current population of the world and it is expected that the 8th billion will reach in 2025 and the global population will reach at 10 billion in 2050. The world population, the Christian comprise 31 percent of the global population. Muslim accounts 23 percent. Hindus are 15 percent. Buddhists are 7 percent. Sikhs accounts 0.36 percent. Jewish it accounts for 0.21 percent even there are other religions non-religious factors so the pakistan it is the sixth most populous country of the world the top most populous country of the world is china and it accounts 1.39 billion and 19.25 percent of the world population india the population is about 1.33 billion and it accounts 17.5 percent of the world population usa the population about 325 million and it accounts 4.545 percent of the world population indonesia 
that is the fourth populous country, have 262 million population, and it accounts 3.49 percent of the world population. Brazil, that is 210 million population, and it accounts 2.79 percent. And the Pakistan, 198 million population, and it accounts 2.5 percent of the world. But the current population of Pakistan has crossed 200 million. So this is the world population trends. Three-fourth of the world population lives in the developing countries United Nations has estimated the world's population grow at an annual rate of 1.1% during 2020. China registered a much lower growth rate of population that is 0.5%. India's growth rate is 1.2% while USA growth rate is 0.7 percent. Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, Hungary, Japan, Italy and Greece have negative growth. It means in these countries birth rate is less than the death rates. So the population is in negative and these are the box and death rate trends like India crude birth rate it is 21 and crude death rate that is the 7 in Pakistan crude birth rate that is the 22.4 and CDR that is 6.4 we can see that in industrialized countries or developed nations, they have dropped their crude birth rate as well as their crude death rate. So in all countries, key factors in reducing their fertility includes changes in government attitude towards population growth. The government has made different programs to address the overgrowth of population. They have increased the literacy rate and they have a spread of education, which have reduced the fertility and ultimately reduced their growth rate. They have increased availability of contraception and family planning. The marked changes in marriage patterns. A global trend towards smaller families. That is the nuclear families. And nuclear family in which there are two parents and their two children are there in the family known as nuclear family. The death rates have also declined worldwide over lost decades. The global death rate declined from 11 from 1975 to 8 per thousand population during 2008. That is a reduction of 18% and the decline in crude death rate of the Southeast Asia region has been more marked from 14.1 to 8.2 per thousand population. In countries with relative young population, crude death rates are mainly affected by infant and child mortality. 
improvement in maternal and child health services, successful implementation of the expanded program on immunization, viral diseases and acute respiratory infection control programs, control of infectious diseases. All these have been marked to reduction in infants and child mortality. All these have been marked to reduction in infants and child mortality rates, which are reflected in the declining crude death rates. Thank you.